one minute. such as Wallace Stevens, T.S. Eliot, Robert Hayden, Gwendolyn Brooks. Uh, how did you decide who to put in and who not to put in? Oh, oh well, you know, the who to put in, yeah, it was the thing in a candy store for me. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, I want a little bit of Frost, and I want to be a little bit of Bishop. And, and so uh, that's how it began. And then people didn't make Frost, because 100 years of poetry uh, is such a compact value. It's the kind of easy thing to do. But my criteria was great for us. Most of us spoke to the same that came out of black. So if you could go ahead and And that helped me. Because the poetry does tell you a lot about the times. And even though some of them are old, they really are new, aren't they? The old is new. Yes, they, they never get old in some way. You know, and a, a poem by Alex um, Dunbar Nelson about I sit and so. I didn't feel like this, but going out and not in the last year. And he said, I think we have a lot of people. How are you doing that after putting this together? My goodness, that took four years of your life. How are you doing? What are well, you doing? You're a professor at the University of Virginia. I am, and I'm teaching there. I'm teaching writing poetry, which I love to do. I love to get kind of the young people writing poetry now. And uh, I'm writing some new poems now. All right, the Penguin Anthology of 20th Century American Poetry. It's fabulous. Thank you for being with me. Please go to jchayward.com. We'll have more of uh, Miss Dove on my website, jchayward.com. Come back and visit us at 5 o'clock. Thank you. <laughs> 